Let's clap our hands Let's dance around Let's stomp our feet And sing out loud We gotta get up, turn around, jump around Everybody singing in the name of Jesus We gotta get up, turn around, jump around And praise His name We gotta get up, turn around, jump around Jesus, we gotta get up, turn around, jump around and praise his name. We gotta get up, turn around, jump around, everybody singing in the name of Jesus. We gotta get up, turn around, jump around and praise his name. And praise his name.
And look at this one. The book says it's a tiger eye. Look at these stripes. Yikes. I can almost imagine a tiger staring at us. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Peyton. Who? Who? Collecting fun rocks, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. We're having so much fun learning about rocks with this book. Learning from books is good. It's true. We can learn even more from Jesus, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, Danny Man. <laughs> Look at this dollhouse I'm building for a friend. Do you think you'll like it? <laughs> You know, building this house reminds me of a story Jesus told about something really important we need to remember. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Hammers up, little builders! Ready! Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers! You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so like I said, Jesus told this story to teach us something very important. It's about two men who each decided to build a house. One wanted to build it on the sand. And one wanted to build it on the rock. Tell me, if you had to choose where you wanted to build your house, would you build it on sand? or on rock? Hmm, interesting. Well, let's see what happens. Let's put up the two houses, one on the sand and one on the rock. Wow, both houses look great. Everything was fine until it started. Do you hear that? Oh, it's raining! Ooh, everybody rub your hands together to make the sound of rain. Oh, and it rained harder and harder. Now, pat your legs. What happened to the house on the sand? It fell down. That's right. Oh. The water washed the sand away, and the house fell down. But look at the house on the rock. It's still standing strong. The water couldn't wash the rock away. <laughs> Jesus told this story because he wanted to teach us how to live and be strong like the house that was built on rock. We can live like Jesus when we love everyone like God loves us, and we can treat everyone like they are important to God. We can share, and we can help everyone. That is how we can live like our house is built on a rock, just like Jesus teaches us to do. <laughs> I'm so glad we have a friend like Jesus to teach us important things. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there is your story, and it's all true. Jesus tells us how to live, so we can be strong in all we do. Thanks, Ollie! Goodbye to you! Hoo! Hoo! Wow! Jesus told such an awesome story. When we do what Jesus teaches us, it's like we're building a house on a super strong rock. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, send
they got it. Get it? Got it! Good. These rocks are cool, but what Jesus teaches us is even more awesome and important. See you next time. Bye. The crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28. The crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28.